Kilmarnock, playing left to right in this picture, kicked off against Clyde in the semi-final of the Scottish Cup. Kilmarnock in striped shirts. Early on, it was Clyde very much on the warpath. And in Kilmarnock's goal, Brown conceded a corner. The 45,000 at Ibrox Park wondered if there'd be an early goal. Happily for Kilmarnock, the defence cleared and the play switched to the other end. And after 30 minutes from an attack on the right, centre-forward Kerr had the ball in the net. Stimulated by being a goal up, Kilmarnock raided Clyde territory again. Outside left Muir, unmarked, got goal number two. Kilmarnock piled on the pressure, but when they came within shooting range, McCulloch kept his charge intact. So Kilmarnock led 2-0 at half-time. After the interval, Clyde kicked off. But though this was a match between football aristocrats, with Kilmarnock second in Division I and Clyde only three places lower down, the play in this half wasn't brilliant. In the crowd, Optimus still thought Clyde could make it. What chances did come Clyde's way were lost by poor shooting. Lucky escape for Clyde here. A goal now might have spurred Clyde on to get level terms. Wilson had a chance and seemed to be making the best of it. But at just the right moment, Brown advanced from goal and managed to cut off the shot. That was all. Kilmarnock the winners, 2-0.